what is it secondary to that also you have to say how will you completely write this answer so partly you are all right that you are saying lipo heme arthrosis you are seeing that there is a patellar suprapatellar fluid collection and you can see that there is a fat fluid level yeah so whenever you see a lipoheme arthrosis more often than not you will have a tibial plateau fracture okay so there's going to be a tibial plateau fracture which results in lipoheme arthrosis all right because there's more bone marrow fat somehow here which leads to it okay so that is what you can see that there is a break here there is a cortical breach so there is an undisplaced tibial plateau fracture you can in fact see here as well right you can see the fracture line going like this can you see that there is a defect which is seen here and there is a discontinuity which is seen here as well all right so this is lipo heme arthrosis always look out in the suprapatellar fossa right so you'll see this here more clearly than infrapatellar so suprapatellar you can see the fat fluid fat being lighter will come up so fat fluid level lipo heme arthrosis with a undisplaced tibial plateau fracture what is the classification we use for tibial plateau fracture no ligament tears won't cause it it has to be bone marrow uh, fat leaking out yeah it's schatzger classification good so we give a schatzger grading for tibial plateau fractures okay so this is lipoheme arthrosis very common uh, spotter